Hey guys, what's going on? So, in today's video, since it's the holiday season and all of us eBay shippers are doing a lot of shipping, figured I'd make a how-to video on uh, shipping books. So this is the method I use for shipping books. Um, here I just have one that I sold, Lost City. You don't have to go this extreme for books, but I like the extra security of them being safe. So. Here's what I use. So you're gonna need your tape, your label. I just have a blank one for demonstration. A box cutter, razor blade, or a knife. I use these from Walmart. 11 and three quarters by eight by four and three quarters. And they work really well. And some bubble wrap. And I have one of these for demonstration purposes. Um, this is a UPS. Bubble mailer, you could ship them UPS with bubble mailers, or you can use these for padding, but not the UPS ones because you can't ship these inside the USPS box. Um, but these are 12 by 14. They sell a 10 by 13 bubble mailer, which I'm out of, and right now with shipping, they're kind of expensive, so I haven't bought any more. But I'll use one of these to demonstrate how it would be used. All right, so. First things first, I'm gonna come to the other side to make this video a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and build our box. Let me make sure y'all can see. And y'all cannot, well you can once I fold it. So let me just adjust the camera just a hair. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna fold the front and two side first and tape it just because it gives me a cleaner looking box. All right, there's that. Flip it over, fold your sides down. Check to make sure your standard hardback book will fit in there, and it will. And you can either do the bubble wrap layer, or if you feel like spending the extra money and getting the bubble mailers from um, eBay or Amazon, which right now they're, you get like 25 for like 15 bucks, which isn't a great deal right now. So, or if you're shipping UPS, you could use this inside the box. So I'm gonna use a USPS, uh, UPS box to demonstrate this video. So you're gonna wrap it in the bubble mailer and fold it over take the adhesive off and put it in there. Now if you were doing the bubble wrap, you would just wrap it once, both sides, and tape it. Super simple. Stick it in the box, push all the bubble wrap down, and make sure it fits pretty snug. And then you're going to take your utility knife, your, whatever you're using, and you're going to score, not cut through, score barely above the book. And this will give you a cut line to bend. Now, um, over at Shed Flips, you can buy his, um, you can buy Lonnie's um, box resizer, which is awesome. I don't have one, I need to get one. I'll do a review on it actually. So Lonnie, if you're watching this video, if you get some more in, I think he's sold out right now, let me know. And then you're gonna cut the corners straight up. Go in the corners right where you did the line, cut it straight up. Go ahead and cut straight up. There we go. Take your right and left side, fold them in. Take your, your barcode in, Flip it right in. I tape mine just like this, but you could score it right down the middle. You cut through right down the middle. They cut that one deep enough. And end up with a perfect fold like that. Then you just tape it again. With books being a little heavier, 
I like to do a solid wrap all the way around. Just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Because some tape does not handle humidity very well or the cold. So I'm using the East Start uh, packing tape by Duck Brand with a Duck Brand dispenser. Take your label, fill it off, slap it on, and you're good to go. And depending on your book and the thickness, will depend on the weight. But that's how I ship my books, guys. Super fast, super easy, inexpensive. So in this one, this one's gonna go U UPS, because it's a UPS label. If I'm shipping USPS, I'll switch to blank labels. Also, I have a U UPS um, bubble mailer in here, so I'm gonna have to ship this by USPS. I could ship it in the bubble mailer, but with holiday season, I don't trust books in just plain boxes. I mean, plain bubble mailers. They get beat up pretty bad. So, this box is super sturdy. It barely moves around. I could add a little bit more bubble, bubble wrap in there and stop it from moving at all, but that doesn't increase your weight. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it helped y'all out. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this.